So while I have these three different lights, I wanted to do a quick video. This is a Surefire 300 Scout. This is an Arasaka 300, and this is the Mod Light. Which one is this? Uh, whatever that number is right there. So I wanted to show you the beams really quick in a semi-dark room so that you can kind of see the difference between the three. This gets asked about a lot. So here we go. So this is the, the Surefire, the Scout Light. This is the Arsaka. Oh, great. Of course. And this is the mod light. Different beams. Yep. So real quick, these are all considered fairly decent lights, but they all have a little bit different light pattern just on the way that they're built. They're all very different sizes too. The Arasaka is clearly smaller than all the rest of them. Clearly smaller. Um, it's even smaller. Oops, sorry. It's even smaller than the Scout by just a little bit. So, but the Scout seems to have a little bit more yellow and it seems to be a little bit more diffused in its center beam and not have as much splash. So there you go. Thanks. Some bonus footage. We got an owl in today from Cloud Defense. So I'm going to do a quick uh, interpretation of this in the same spot with the other flashlight so you can kind of see the different beams. This one's 1250 lumens, I think. So much brighter, much bigger splash. It's very, very bright. Very bright. More bonus footage. We got a Crimson Trace in, and this is a new one we're playing around with. It's kind of a low budget light, the CWL 102. But let's look at it. Let's look at it with all the other ones, same spot. So it's a more diffuse beam. Looks more like the Surefire. It doesn't have as much splash, but it has some decent splash. It's not bad for. For the price, these are what are these under a hundred bucks. Yeah, so like eighty three dollars. It's pretty good.